going to go inside and check out what Gummaraka Gourmet Meats has to offer. Christmas ham, guys. Let's go check that out. Welcome to our Christmas special. Why is it Christmas special? Because I'm wearing Christmas hats. Probably three sizes too small, but that's all the kids had. Anyway, we'll take it off. We'll welcome Gummaraka Gourmet Meats to the table. I had a beautiful drive up there. You would have seen that on the video. We talked to Alice and Douglas, some of the nicest people you'll meet up there. And we got some Christmas ham. Now, Douglas does this himself. 98% South Australian. From the Barossa they get this leg of ham that absolutely smells divine. 2%? Where's that go, you're thinking? Well, it sits in a maple brine, so 2% of that is maple syrup from Canada. Like the proper stuff, not the, you know, the nasty cheap stuff. So, and then it's smoked over red gum wood chips. It's boiled, apologies, for 16 hours. So right now, it absolutely smells divine. You can see I've masked it a bit because I had to have a little taste. And then the kids wanted to come in and have a taste. Take a look at that. Gorgeousness. And a taste. Like, you're not going to get fresher than this. This was only um, done two days ago. Apologies if you can hear the kids swearing outside. That's why I'm inside. Water fights. That's what summer's about. Anyway, big family leg of ham. So what I'm going to do after finishing this part. I'm gonna to try to Christmas it up a bit, you know. Maybe do like a maple glaze, put it in the oven for a bit. Fantastic guys at Weber. I said, bring it round, and I'll chuck it in the weather for a bit, and there will be absolutely, oh, it will, will be outstanding. Right now, right now it's outstanding. Right now, it's 100 times better than anything you buy at a supermarket, man. Support your local butcher. Even the Gummaraka and Gourmet Meats, they had the bushfires at the start of the year. They had COVID like everyone copped with. But they said they've had fantastic community support from everyone. So, you get your leg of ham from them. You're helping them, you're helping the farmers in the Barossa as well. So it all you know, leads onto something else as well. And Douglas and Alice don't just sell the legs of ham, they do everything a butcher does. They do English meats as well. So if you want something like English style, they really specialise in that as well. They've got their Christmas order sheets out already, guys. So get in quick if you want this, so Douglas can prepare it for you. Uh, they also do free range turkey, they do pork, they do seafood, they have met worst. Chicken, lamb, beef. They all use local SA supplies as well. So the, um, let me just have a look at my note. The lamb comes from Strathalbyn. Um, during that you know, lockdown a couple of weeks of that, Everyone cleaned out the butcher, so he's been getting stuff from South Australia where he can, but if he can't, it's the rest of Australia. He doesn't go international for any of his products as well. So, once again, you support Douglas, you support Alice at Gum Rack and Gourmet Meats. You're not only supporting their, their family business, you're supporting the other farmers around them who provide them with the stock as well. So, I, that's what I absolutely love about it. And the drive, guys, the drive is not bad. It took me 30 minutes to get there. Little windy. You take the kids up there. You can spend a day up at Gummaraka. The giant rocking horses there. That little walk through farm is through there as well. It's a really nice up there. The air smells a little fresher as well. But let's get back to the ham. So Douglas will do that for you. And then he'll give you this ham bag with the instructions of how to take care of it as well. So you follow these instructions, told. And as I fix up this battery, and I'm told that you follow the instructions of this bag, you can your leg of lamb will last for like 40 days. I've got like a big Italian side of the family on the other side. This will not last for 40 days. Look at this monster, man. This will probably last a few days, but this will be shared around with the family so everyone can enjoy it. So Christmas is about sharing, enjoying, everyone having a good time. So. What else do they do? They do everything gluten-free, I'm told. So you can go in there. The only thing they don't do gluten-free is their schnitzels, but if you order, give them enough notice, they'll make some for you that are gluten-free. They used to do vegetarian as well, which 
I'll be doing a review later showing their vegan burgers. Uh, also trying out their award-winning sausages as well. So uh, Alice said she's got a, a vegan lasagna as well, I think it is. Uh, I could be wrong, so I apologize, Alice. It might be just a vegetarian lasagna as well. So check that out when you pop into Gummaraka Gourmet Meats. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cook this up, give it the maple glaze treatment. I'll get back to you. I'll show you the footage of what's happening, and then we'll come back and you can see me eat it. That's the fun part, isn't it? All right, guys, we'll leave it there. Cheers. All right, guys, you'll have to bear with me as I do this glaze for the very first time. I do a ham for the very first time, so I'm excited, a little bit nervous. You can't stuff up a ham, can you? Anyway, this is everything that's going to be in my maple glaze. It's three quarters of a cup of proper maple syrup. We've got three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I've got the honey Dijon. That'll have to do, won't it? Uh, three quarters of a tablespoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and just a pouring. They said orange juice. I've only got tropical juice, so we'll do a bit of tropical juice for good measure. See how we go. The oven's set at 140. Uh, and then we'll go from there. You probably even saw the video of us cutting up and you can see where uh, the rats have got to it. I'm one of the rats, so don't worry about that. Um, an hour 45 it was. I didn't leave it for two hours. I'm surprised at how easy it was to do. That maple glaze uh, little recipe, oh, it was fantastic, but it doesn't taste as good without a good quality ham. So, uh, Gamaraka Gourmet Meats, man, kill it. Guys, Take the time out, support a great local butcher like Gamaraka Gourmet Meats. As I said, take a drive up, spend a day out there, spend a bit of money, support locals up there in the hills, man. It's absolutely beautiful up there. And uh, I'll be divvying it up around the relatives, but as I said, there's instructions about how to keep the ham longer as well. So um, follow all that. You've got a bag, you got your ham, Christmas is settled. Just get someone else to bring the sides. You know, if someone's coming around your house and you're doing this baby, get them to bring the sides and just save everyone a bit of trouble. A bit of, ah, uh, depends what the weather is, isn't it? Potato salad, mashed potato. Nice couple of salads in there. You're set, there's no dramas in. Look at that, that was literally 15 minutes of prep and then an hour 45 of cooking. I'd say maybe at the most, it was two hours and 15. And this was me on a very tired day where I was like walking around like a zombie. But that has definitely pet me up a bit. Also, I had a beer as well. Awesome job, Gummaraka Gourmet Meats. Give Douglas, give Alice a call. Grab an order sheet. If you want more different meats, they do everything there. They've got milk, they've got eggs, they've got rubs. They got sauces. They got, as I said, they had lasagna even there. So they do everything. And I heard Alice make some pretty awesome cakes as well. So you can sort all your Christmas out there and have it all covered. All right, I'm gonna put the kids to bed. So I'll leave you guys to it. I'll come back. We're gonna do some sausage reviews. I'm sure the kids will be here for that. And uh, the bacon review as well. As you see, the kids have eaten ham before bed. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? No, I'll probably tell you tomorrow morning. Cheers, guys. Support local, support Gummaraka Gourmet Meats. Find them online. They are everywhere. They're Facebook, they're Insta, they've got a website as well. Cheers, guys.